Hello, my dear teacher friends. This is Minakshi Narula, founder and CEO at Mentoring the Mentors, an institute that accelerates your learning curve. At Mentoring the Mentors, it's my initiative that I want to share my learnings, my research, my gatherings, my experiences with all of you so that you can bring that kind of engagement, excitement, in your classes. You can encourage your students to take the onus of their learning. So today I'm here with all of you with the fifth part of Graphic Organizers. Till date, I have shared with you four videos on Graphic Organizers. And today we're gonna talk about 50 more innovative and engaging Graphic Organizers. So here you go. <clears throat> The first graphic organizer for today is the dictionary page. It has been always a challenge for us to enhance the vocabulary of our students. For that, we keep on devising new strategies so that our children, they will be able to enhance their learning. They'll be able to learn new words, understand the meaning and use them in their own sentences. So here you go, there is a graphic organizer. This is for, this contains the word, the parts of the speech, definition, examples, and the picture of the word. This is a form of a dictionary graphic organizer, right? So now it's a T-chart. In our classes, we ask our students to write the differences between any of the given two concepts or the topics or the terms so different kinds of T-charts can be shared with the students right now in front of yourself in the form of a kite. I mean, you can design in any form the T-chart, depending upon the topic that you are dealing with. Another is scientific method. In the scientific method, we always have when a question or the problem, we will be writing the information that is in our hand. Based on that information, we give a hypothesis. Then we test the hypothesis. We have the data for that, then results and conclusions. Problem solving technique, solving an equation or a problem. For that problem is to be mentioned. Then we have to write, how can I solve the problem? What is the answer and how did I do it? So the plan and then action, right? What is our plan? And finally, how we were able to solve it. This is a kind of computational thinking, dividing the problem into different steps and then solving it. Facts and opinions. Uh, as and when any paragraph, any stanza, any uh, reading material is given to the students, we generally ask the students to list various kinds of facts and the opinions that they have found in the given text. So any kind of graphic organizer can be planned facts versus opinions. See, let me tell you some of the pictures I'll be showing you here. You can design accordingly. I'm just giving you an idea, like what kind of different graphic organizers can be shared with the students, like for giving, for assigning any kind of homework. You can always use different kinds of strategies. Sometimes you can share some character notes. Sometimes you can talk about uh, storyline sequencing and maybe T charts. And you say, you may ask your students to read the text and come with different facts and opinions. So this is to enhance their, you see, reading skills as well. They'll be able to read, they'll be able to analyze, interpret, and they'll be able to take notes for that. Generally, we can not understand whether the children, they have read the topic given at home or not. So now another graphic organizer is the book notes, how the children, they will be making notes in the form of books, booklets, what I know, what I wonder, what it reminds me of, what I like. Related to the text, this is also post uh, reading, you see, is a kind of graphic organizer. You may ask your students to get to know what they already know, what they wonder about, or what they got to know after reading the text. Okay, what it reminds me of, how are they able to integrate the same with the real life, and what did they really like? right from the text. Next is a term, 
illustrate the term with the text. This is a kind of a tip chart. As I have already shared with you, you will be writing term, information related to the term that is meaning and all, and then P, picture, T-I-P, tip charts. So here is a term in my words, picture. Children, they have to draw the picture related to any kind of the term with the word given to them. Next is student self-assessment. This is very important graphic organizer. Make sure you use the same at uh, various stages in the class. I mean to say either you can ask the student to give the same as a reflection after the lesson is complete or maybe in the kind of portfolios also I have already shared in that video, like the students, they have to self-assess. There should be peer assessment. There should be parent assessment and teacher assessment as well their feedback as well. So here is student self-assessment. How well did you work in the group? Where were you ready to work? Did you help your other group members? So this is related to the group work, the self-assessment, where the child finds himself or herself for his or her performance while working in a group that is a collaborative given task. So likewise, you will be able to just tweak it and give it in different formats for self-assessment for the students. Now it's about group learning. If you just have a look at this slide, what is written over here, let us together read it. Write down the names of the people in your group and one thing you know about them, right? When they are working in a group, they should know about each other. So they'll be listing down the name of the group members and what do they know about them? How will you talk about your ideas? Write down two strategies. See, it is uh, very uh, difficult sometimes when the students, uh, they are not able to take the initiative, they do not volunteer to talk to each other, then we will not be able to get successful results for the collaborative learning. So the, the students, they should come up with like how they'll move further, how they, what kind of strategies they will use to talk to each other so that they'll be able to initiate the idea, they'll be able to further press their process, their knowledge and come to the conclusions. Now, smile, list ways in which you will help the group stay positive. See, staying positive is really very important. Most uh, uh, commonly it happens in a group, the children, they cannot work uh, together as a team what happens is either one or two group members they always dominate and others they do not get a chance or maybe some of the children they always they shy they do not want to come forward or generally there is some a feeling of a jealous or they get envious too so for that it's really very important for the group members to stay positive what will each person do for the project See, this is really very important. I have already shared with you, there is difference between collaborative learning and the cooperative learning. In the collaborative learning, they present their tasks together as a group. But in cooperative learning, each and every individual is assigned a particular task. So they have to define the roles. Like what is the role of each member while completing the task, right? So the roles can be different. One is a reader, one is interpreter, one is the describer, one is a timekeeper, or uh, one is a question, uh, just defines the questions and all, right? So, I mean, different kinds of roles can be assigned depending upon the task assigned to them. So this is related to group learning. So you are free to take the snapshots of these graphic organizers and you can generate your own graphic organizers as well. Oral reports organizer, question, answer, and share. A good question helps us to understand the world around us. See, we need to develop students' questioning skills as well. They can answer the given questions given in the form of a back exercise in the books, number of sample papers are available, number of another, uh, you see booklets are available online, offline, everybody's, uh, you see, publicizing our book is there, you still students, they will be getting ready-made questions. But I would say, why don't you ask your question, your students should develop their own questions. We need to enhance their questioning skills as well, right? And then answer, to find the answer to the question, we need to find information from many sources. Don't be reliable on one source. Write down important information that helps you to answer the question and you could use the 
notes cards or maybe the notebooks see you will be writing what are the different sources from where you will be able to gather information to answer the given question they have generated questions now they have to write different kinds of sources they can mention the textbook reference book the library the internet right any kind of the i mean to say uh, they can uh, have some surveys okay they can talk to the peers so different kinds of sources they'll be able to mention now make eye contact with the audience practice speaking slowly and clearly practicing in front of a mirror is helpful remember you have great information to share so this is for boosting confidence in them yes they can do it and you don't bother like sometimes we feel the same question has been given to the entire class and everybody is talking on the given topic so what will i say different everything will remain same if we have been told to talk on a particular topic the facts and figures will remain same how can i make a difference you can always make a difference with your presentation right how you organize the data you always should cite uh, give citations like where you have taken this particular information from so adding citations would enhance your presentation right so let's move ahead for the another graphic organizer for the day that's interviewing organizer so in this case the students they will be able to gather information related to uh like if they are going for an interview and all, if they are going to interview a particular person, when did it happen? Where did it happen? Why did it happen? What happened? Who was there? Okay. I mean, related to that particular uh, course of uh, interview, they'll be able to gather some data for that. And now next is reading organizer. They have to write like what I know from the reading, different points they have to list and what I am thinking about. They have to make notes what I know from this reading and what I am thinking about. What I'm thinking about this, what kind of questions they are arising in my mind, how I relate this information to uh, with my previous knowledge, previous information. Now moving ahead, this is inquiry chart. What I already know resource and the important ideas and then interesting related facts the different keywords new questions to research so that is inquiry chart you see we ask our students to inquire that is inquiry led learning they have to generate some questions and based on that they have to gather some information from different resources they have to interpret the information analyze it and then only they'll be able to come to any kind of conclusion and still if there are some questions in, in mind they need to list those questions as well so that they will Will be able to create the new milestones for reaching their goal now moving ahead that is the story map one this is very common we have been using in our classes beginning middle and end of a story and next is the story map two, a little bit higher version of that story mapping in that they have to mention the title and the author the main characters the setting of the story problem solution and supporting characters as well now next story map three this is another higher version a little bit complex one they have to write the title of the story problem or conflict solution character setting and then they have to talk about climax rising action introduction resolution and falling action whatever they find so they will be able to mention so that is a higher version of the story map so please make sure you give creative homework and you keep on changing the type of graphic organizer you are sharing with your students you need not to frame different kinds of questions just share a graphic organizer with them and share yes based on this story based on the reading you have to generate this see you will be uh, really co coming across with different kinds of innovative answers from your students now moving ahead uh, this is story map four and in this story um, see it's a general layout where time place characters protagonist antagonist conflict rising action and then climax that is explain the climax the climax is the moment before we know the answers to the questions the conflict has created it is the peak of suspense the students they'll be able to create this kind of story map as well now moving ahead 
uh, sequence of the events, different events, they can list out different sequencing of the events of the story and then story pyramid, right? Main character's name, they moving ahead from one, two, three, four, five, main character's name, two words describing that character, you'll be writing adjectives, three words describing the story of the place, talking about the story of the place, three words for that, four wo words describing an important event, five words describing the main idea or the importance of the uh, event, right? So this is how the children, they will be able to come up with a different kind of story uh, pyramid, story sequencing. They'll be able to take out the important points, important information, and they'll be able to list the same. Now moving ahead, the plot diagram. That is also for story introduction, the rising action, the climax, the falling action, and the <clears throat> Next part is resolution. So this is how another form of graphic organizer can be created for the plot of the story. Next is what happens. You see, if I talk about this is sequencing frame one to begin with first I started when dash dash dash, they'll be able to complete next second and then next third and then after finally at the end. So what happens? They'll be able to explain the same in sequences, first, second, third, fourth. So this is another kind of graphic organizer that you can use in your classes. Now, have a look at uh, this graphic organizer. This is a timeline where students will be able to list different kinds of events. Event one, two, three, four, five, six, right? And they'll have to write the, mention the dates over there. We have been doing in it in social sciences and history children they have been making timelines and otherwise also in languages too when we are talking about the autobiography or the biography of any kind of character they used to make timelines so you can use different kinds of graphic organizers i'll be showing you more or graphic organizers too this is another layout for the timeline graphic organizer so this is a vertical timeline another graphic organizer here you go is the observation chart. The children, uh, they have to write about uh, any kind of experiment they are doing, hands-on activity they are doing that will continue for a few days. So they have to write their observations. So, I mean, if they are growing the saplings and they have to note the observation, they will be able to list the same in the kind of different kinds of uh, notes and all it began to sprout on this date and then uh, what happened the stem is getting longer the bud is visible the petals are close to fully blooming and it's in full bloom so they should know they should keep a track of the different changes that they are observing with date and time so next is inverted topic triangle this inverted topic triangle uh, let's read what's written over there. Topic, what I know about this topic, what I need to know about this topic and my final topic, right? I mean, the topics they are talking about, what do they know, what do they want to know, okay? And after gathering information, what is their learning from that? Now, next is literature circle roles. In this, uh, in a classroom, you will be defining different roles for the different students in a group. As you can see on the screen, discussion director, vocabulary detective, illustrator, and checker. This is going to be a wonderful activity in the class, in the groups, when you will be assigning different roles to the students. A discussion director, that's the captain of the literature circle. The discussion director creates questions to help everyone understand the desk text, the discussion director asks the questions like who, what, why, when, where, all WH questions. And then the vocabulary detective, uh, he or she finds the words that the group may not know and helps to the circle to learn about the words, right? He will be explaining the word that will be his or her job. Illustrator would be as the name defines would be illustrating would be drawing the pictures or the visualizations 
for different scenes, characters, or maybe different kinds of terms. And then checker makes sure that everyone participates and completes the literature circle task. This is going to be really very interesting activity. Really believe you may conduct the same in your classes and don't forget to share your valuable feedback in the comment section below. Hold on, I'm not going to end this video. I'm having more graphic organizers for you. Today we'll be discussing in total 50 more graphic organizers. So here you go, journal, journal, journal writing. Children, they should know. They have to write the journals. The events that have happened in the day, their experience, it's a kind of diary writing to journal writing. That's another kind of graphic organizer. And then entrance slip. You see, we have been talking about entrance and uh, exit slips. What happens is the students, uh, you ask your students, you will be getting admission in the class. You will get admitted entrance in the class if you will be answering these kinds of questions. So that should be a part of the routine. You will be giving them those kinds of pages, like some questions have been mentioned and they have to write, I know, and then I think what exactly they know. And if they are not clear, then they'll be writing, I think. I'm not sure about this information. Exit ticket activities, I have already shared for the exit ticket. You can give any one question that depends upon you as a teacher, that depends upon the topic that you have been teaching to your students. I mean, either you can talk about, they can write about one sentence summaries, they can write even three words that they have learned. You can go for three to one strategy also. This is a kind of jam activity in just a minute. You give just one minute to your students and they'll be able to complete the same in one minute. For that, you have to be ready with the slips first to save your time, right? In a 40 minutes class, you will be able to use at least one minute the students will be writing. And then while teaching, uh, you can keep the slips on the students table or you can distribute the same to them well in advance so that they should have those kinds of exit slips with them already. And at the end of the chapter, give them just two minutes and they'll just fill in and they'll just drop in the given box or they'll just submit the same on your table so it won't take much time make sure you make it a part of your daily routine next is character description you may ask your students to describe the character what all things are there let's uh, read together main characters right and then main characters feelings right memories and then uh, the character um uh, Decodes to the character wants, right? And all the details about the characters they have to mention. Now, situation, problem, solution. They have to write about situation, then problem, then solution. And next is autobiography organizer. You can also take a snapshot for that. You may ask your students to introduce yourself with your name, age, and where you live. Write a physical description of yourself. How do you look like your, uh, your body structure, your height, and uh, your, I mean, how do you look like? And then family names, your surnames, then short descriptions of the family members, how your family is important to you, how many persons are there in that, and then uh, story description of the above events or the members list your hobbies or the special events and mention any additional interesting facts that you know that you ask them to write autobiography, they'll be able to know what all things to be mentioned in that different events. So help them to come up as good authors. And story building for writing. They should know for writing a story, what are the things, uh, what are the topics, what are the areas they are required uh, to mention character, situation, and problem, and then setting. Finding resources, right? Uh, you see, we ask our students to gather information from various kinds of sources that should be reliable. Right, for that, they should know when they are gathering information, they have to mention the source system and they have to mention whether the source is reliable or not. Generally, when we talk to each other, gathering information, uh, sometimes the information is not from reliable sources too. So they need to mention the source as well. 
Now moving ahead, main idea and the supporting ideas. So there are different kinds of ideas that have been mentioned over here. You need to mention the main idea, the supporting ideas, and they need to give the details for that. Uh, Non-fiction book report. Book reports they'll be writing. I'll be showing you. I mean, you can go ahead with that. The fiction and the non-fiction. They'll be writing the title, the author, what is book all about, what are the some interesting facts that you have learned. Did you find the book interesting? Did you like the book? So librarians, please make sure you go for this kind of activity. You may ask your students to fill in that kind of graphic organizer or, or they can design in their own format. Right. Then again, it is for the fiction. They have to write about the theme, conflict, setting, character, and the traits. Title and the author should be there. That's part obvious. Newspaper article. They have to write about a story, then picture, headline, title of the story, and starting with title of your newspaper. So that is another wonderful graphic organizer. I, I mean. You must be really wondering, I mean, so many types of graphic organizers can be there. We have been sharing with our students only a limited graphic organizers. You see, uh, maybe differentiating mind maps, concepts, uh, maps, bubbles, clouds, etc., etc. But see, I'll be sharing with you more number of graphic organizers. Really, they make the learning very interesting. So animal story. They are writing about animal story, name of the character of the animal, relatives, interesting facts, appearance, uh, protection, diet, raising young ones, predators, habitat. You can go for in languages, English and Hindi. You can go for it in sciences also. You see, when we are talking about a particular animals also, herbivores, carnivores, their traits and all, we are teaching our students that will be real fun, right? And you can change it also. I mean, there's an animal story. You can talk about a plant story when you're talking about the plants, right? And you can talk about any other thing. You see, you can tweak it. And number of ways are there. So moving ahead, fairy tale story, children, they love it when they are uh, just reading the books related to fairy uh, girls, especially. And see, I, I'm, I'm uh, you see, I believe in gender neutral world, right? So anybody can obviously boys, girls too, they can read the stories. They will be writing about any kind of stories, good character, bad character, magic, okay? What kind of ending it is. Usually fairy tales, they have a happy ending. So that's why it is mentioned over there. So now, this is coat of arms. This is another kind of graphic organizer. What they have to write, cause, fact, right? All this kind of diagram, they'll be able to mention it over there. That is a blank layout in which they have to write the image, color, aspirations, accomplishments, history trails, history trails. It's a kind of timeline, what is happening step by step, right? history repeats itself. What all uh, things have happened slowly and gradually, we just go and read it, read it like what happened then, 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 then step by step, okay? And history trails, write down and illustrate the key events in chronological order, right? That is another graphic organizer, cause and effect in history. The same can be done in sciences too. Uh, sort the objects into different buckets, name each group, sorting and classification. Basically, we do it in different, different subjects. Let me tell you, we sort and classify in sciences when we talk about, I'm just giving you different kinds of examples, like uh, herbivores, uh, omnivores, carnivores, we need to sort them out. Biodegradable, non-biodegradable, we need to sort them out. Soluble, insoluble, we need to sort them out, right? And, uh, uh, languages, when we talk about sort the different parts of speech, Hindi and English and Punjabi, what all different languages you have been teaching. In mathematics, when you ask them what are the simplified and non-simplified equations, they have to sort it out, right? So accordingly, sorting is done all across all the subjects. So you can go ahead with that kind of graphic organizer, any kinds of shape you can use. And observation diary, I've already shared with you by giving you an example where uh, you will be mentioning the observation for different kinds of experiments that you have been doing. So that 
you know, students will be able to make observation diary based on the different classroom activities too. I mean, what they are doing in the class and they have to write the observation for that. Moving ahead, inquiry frame. Question, what I already know, what I now I know. Now I know after the inquiry is complete. Now the next is, what's the idea? It is inventor, right? Now you see, what's the idea? Drive floors while mopping. And then what does the inventor try? I attached towels to the back of the mop. They can be removed for washing. Right? Yes, because it dries the floor. Is an invention successful? Yes or no, then because. So that is a kind of design thinking. If you go ahead, if you if you can go through even uh, my different kinds of videos we have already talked about, I started with design thinking in my classes where the children, they have some ideas and they work on it, they research, they come with some, uh, you see, I idea solutions, then they first test it. Okay, test it whether it is working or not, and then they try it and again try it till they get a complete solution, right? So this is a very good activity to enhance the critical thinking in query-based learning for your students. So now moving ahead with the next graphic organizer is vocabulary word cluster. Students will be writing the word parts of speech, speech synonyms, illustration, and sentence. Now you may ask your students to have a separate booklet for that for each chapter they have to at least make 10 uh, word of uh, clusters for that and a separate vocabulary book can be maintained you can assign the same as a homework also you can ask your students like in the holidays homework if there are these many days every day you have to write five words that will enhance their vocabulary right and they have to write a sentence also two types of sentence should be written first sentence where they, uh, they have noticed that particular word and then they will be writing that word in their own sentence, right? Now, the last graphic organizer for today is vocabulary organizer. They have to write the word synonyms for that as many as they can and the associations, the word that is associated with what all different words and then antonyms that will enhance their vocabulary they learn more words so my lovely teachers till now i have shared with you more than 100 graphic organizers right so make sure you use these graphic organizers in your classes and don't forget to share your valuable feedback in the comment section below if you like my initiative of sharing this uh, knowledge information with you Make sure you subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and share with other teachers as well. Thank you all of you. Have a nice day from Binakshi Narula.